white matter is mostly made up of myelinated axons and relays information between brain regions. There are three types of white matter fibers, projection, association, and commissural fibers. Projection fibers connect the cortex with the brainstem and spinal cord. Association fibers connect different regions within the same hemisphere, while commissural fibers connect the same cortical areas in opposite hemispheres. Let's start off with the commissural tracts, which all cross the midline. The most impressive of these is the corpus callosum. This is the largest white matter structure in the brain, and it connects the two hemispheres, spanning a portion of the longitudinal fissure. The corpus callosum can be divided into four regions, the splenium at the posterior, the body in the middle, the genu at the anterior, and the rostrum curving back under the genu. The cortical connections created by the corpus callosum span all four lobes. Using the fusion tensor imaging tractography, we can see how the fibers of the corpus callosum extend, radiating in mostly an upwards direction. There is also the anterior commissure. The anterior commissure connects the two temporal lobes. It is important in the sensation of sharp pain and plays a role in processing smells, emotion, speech, hearing, and memory. The posterior commissure crosses the midline on the dorsal aspect of the upper end of the cerebral aqueduct, and it is important in the bilateral pupillary light reflex, which makes your pupil size change depending on the amount of light. The habenular commissure sits in front of the pineal gland and connects the habenular nuclei on both sides of the diencephalon. These nuclei are involved in sleep-wake cycles, learning, stress responses, pain processing, and reproductive behaviors. Lastly, there is also a commissural tract in the fornix. The lateral posterior portions of the fornix have a thin triangular lamina stretched between them containing the fibers of the hippocampal commissure, or commissure of the fornix, which connects the two hippocampi across the midline. Check out part 2 to learn about the association tracts. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, it would help me make more videos, and make sure to comment with any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, it would be really nice if you could support me on Patreon. Thank you.